Everything you just said is very nice. Yeah, and yeah. I think that Tejomaya Anandji, from that perspective, he has a very good way of bringing the highest concept and taking it to our level. He does Simple. it fantastic. Simple. You know, you, you guys have heard him so many times. Okay, let's do the... So, Hadek Swami ka ek uh, strength hoti hai. Unki wo strength hai. Om Bhadram Karne Bhishaniyam Deva Bhadram Pashye Maksha Bhevya Chatra Sthirai Rangye Sushtu Vagam Sastanodhi Vyashem Deva Hitam Yadayu Swastina Indro Vritashavaha Swastina Pusha Vishwavidaha Swastina Saksharyo Arishta Nemi Swastina Bruhaspatir Tatatu Om Shanti 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 Shivin, you want to read the translation? O ye gods, may we hear with our ears always what is auspicious. O worshipful ones, may we with our eyes see always what is auspicious. May we live the entire length of our allotted life, hell and hearty, offering our praises unto thee. May Indra the ancient and the famous, Putan son the all-knowing, the lord of swift motion, Vayu, who saves us from all harms, and Braspati, who pr protects the spiritual wealth in us, bless us with the intellectual strength to understand the scriptures and the heroic heart to follow the teachings. Om, peace be, peace be, peace be. I think that whenever we read this, we should, this last line, we have to be really like, remember it very nicely, that... Uh, intellectual strength to understand the scriptures and heroic heart to follow the teachings. Because somebody was talking about it that Vedanta is, is like a very, it's not a black and white uh, thing. So you have to grasp things from it. So we cannot take uh, Vedanta with a, oh, the, how this is and start arguing because it's like they're trying to give you a message. It's a very subtle message. Mm -hmm. So we all need to develop that art. What are they trying to say? Instead of always trying to find some Opposite of it, hey, this, no. They, we have to have that faith that whatever their conclusion they have come up with is something the thousands of years of practice and research and meditation and that's the conclusion they have come up with. If I don't understand it, please God give me the strength that I understand it. I think that much faith we have to come here with otherwise it's going to be very hard to move forward. Got it. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's... I'm not saying don't ask questions, no, 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 all that, but, but uh, if, we, if we really want to get the gist of it, we'll have to keep this in mind a lot, you know? Yeah. And um, um, a genuine question by all means, but we should, we should avoid like just because, just because kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Got it, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Okay. So um, we were actually in the middle of 36. Yeah, and some of you said that your book just ended that particular verse over no, there. No, no. no, no? So just to yeah, recap, yeah, recap, let's read the yeah. English translation. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read it? You want to read, Sneha? Therefore, Therefore, having realized this Atma to be such a nature, identifying your mind with it, in non-duality, having realized fully the non-dual reality, Therefore, move about in life as an inert, insentient thing. So, so somebody wants to just recap a little bit what we did? Anybody wants to do it? Oh, okay. Nee, main summarize yeah. Yeah. Can you recap? Hmm. So, so basically, this is what he was saying, huh. that um, we were studying about non-dual. So he's saying that by studying the scriptures, we have grasped the non-dual now what it is intellectually. Now it's time to apply in your life and start living it and all that, those kind of things. And then um, in this verse he's saying, he's talking mainly right now of a sthita pragna. Then you were not here when we did the lakshana of sthita pragna, the one who is established in that knowledge. But he's also talking to people who have 
very diligently wants to go on that path also, how that person should be kind of behaving. So that indication he's giving here. So the, the, therefore, having realized the Atman to be such a nature means non-dual nature, uh -huh. identify your mind with it, and having realized fully the non-dual world, move about in the life as an inert, insentient thing. So he was talking about that how, why did he say that inert, insentient thing? Because his, Swamiji's interpretation is that this person cannot be over, now the person is realized non-duality, but he has to still live in the world. And usko apna agenda ta kuch rahi nahi gaya, usko to bliss mil gai ho. Right? So how is he going to act in the world to help others? He cannot become over emotional. Because then he will, everything will become chaos. So he has to keep his, his emotions under control because see, jo, jo mass people hai, wo kya maangenge usse? Mera ye kismat badal de, mera ko ye paisa de de, mera ko ye beta thik kar de. <laughs> It's like interfering in their karmic thing. But what is his job? Usko atma se jagana hai usko. So agar ye lower uh, isme chala jayega, logon ka fix karne mein, to uska wo purpose hi short ho gaya. Those are the kind of things. Do you guys remember he brought all those points in? So yeah. he shouldn't uh, help them uh, achieve No, the... help. Remember. It's like, are you helping at a lower level or higher level? Yeah. You, that famous saying in English, do you want to give that man a fish or teach him how to fish? Right, okay. Right? Everybody agrees there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, wo us level mein isliye usko la sometimes they do give. So that's why we have to be very kind of careful because I've heard people say things like, oh, why that Sai Baba, you know, who does magic and all that? Hey, do you know what he's trying to do? He's trying to pull them in. Yeah. By giving them little trinkets. Mm -hmm. That's not his... I've heard uh, his statement that, Hey, tumko lagta ki main tumko bhaguti aur ye sab deke tumko impress karne ki kar raha That's not my goal. My goal is to unite you with a higher, but tum log aoge hi nahi mere paas. To make you a believer. At that time it was needed. Yes. For the masses. Or an individual person. They, they can yeah, read. Even for masses, hmm. because the... the whole thing of morality and religion had gone down so much that it was needed for the masses so he was practicing that now you don't find uh, other you know the saints of today like if you see Sri Sri or I mean these two I'm familiar with that's why I, Sri Sri and uh, Sadhguru they don't do all these kind of magic but they're teaching you truth but, but what he says over here, a self-realized person is capable of doing it, uh -huh, but he doesn't do it yeah. because he wants to give you something higher. Mm -hmm. Okay? But in rare circumstances, uh, because they know it's something like this. When, when I go up in the sky, I can see the whole city together. And I kind of see where the problem is, and then if I want to fix something, I can tweak a few things. But if I'm, I'm at a lower, I don't even know what is happening in the next gully. Like if you're in a plane. Yes, plane. You can look down. Yes. So these people are spiritually at that level. They know what See, the, the, spirit, uh, the, sp uh, the society is also evolving spiritually now. So maybe when uh, uh, this guy was there, Sai Baba was there at that time, the society was not evolved that much. And that's why he had to resort to all these things. Yeah, but yeah. We don't know that. Yes. thinking so more about it. Back. And Sai Baba died only recently. Right? Yeah, but still. Yeah, but in the beginning when he started. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but they are about 40 years ago. So okay, so there's another around. aspect that we all need to remember, and we sh we have to be, you know, not criticize whoever unless we know. Like even if somebody is totally dhongi, Vedantic students should leave them alone and just mm -hmm. focus on your own stuff. Number one, but you know why they are doing what they are doing, we will never know because they are at a very different level. Ham log apne limited dhong se dekh rahe hain unko. And we need different kind of saints to appeal to different kind of group. Simple. Yes. In fact, somebody told that even in Jinmaya mission, there are two different kind of saints. One, one go, Swamis, one go and they might live in five-star hotel and all because they are catering to those higher people because they want them to connect. And the others go in the village and street, sleep on the street also. And so you cannot say, hey, isko dekho, ye kar hai, usko. Nein, wo dono kaam kar hai. you cannot just see it. They are looking at it. Or they criticize, like somebody was criticizing, hey, why this uh, Swamini is going in a, uh, in a Mercedes? 
Why? So I said, उसका भक्त लेके आया उसको मर्सिडीज में लाने के लिए तो तुमको क्या तकलीफ हो रही है यू नो दे जस्ट लुक दैट द वुमन वाज सिटिंग इन मर्सिडीज एंड हैड टू डिसर्व व्हाई हाउ वुड हैपन दैट दे डू नॉट कंसर्न आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दैट हाउ पीपल जज इट इज सैड जजमेंट सो एनीवे सो दैट्स वेयर ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट द गाय द द पर्सन हु सेल्फ रियलाइज नीड्स टू कीप हिज इमोशंस अंडर कंट्रोल एंड रिमेंबर हिज हायर नेचर you know why he's there so that's where we stopped so now let's read the rest of the there are three paragraphs in this one kon padh raha no mujhe nahi sentimentally right sentimentality again a perfect one is in a power house of spiritual strength in fact there is nothing that is impossible for him to bring about in the world of reality if he is sentimental or emotional he would be tempted always to battle with a total product destiny of the generation and thereby put a spoke in the wheel of the universal plan so we discussed that mm. just now yes mm. so we should sentimentality should do that. when one entertain would be an incredible short time end in a mighty growth of the heart and you know how dangerous it is to have an extended heart where the heart has bulged out molesting its own features discriminating gets choked lopsided growth in the personality is an ugliness which ruins the chiseled beauty of a perfect man the teacher here is insisting that when a sadhak has reached perfection he should not indulge in the materialism of the dilated heart again metaphorically the most in in sentiment of things is the greatest blessings on man if we understand it is in the proper perspective we all know geographically that the mountains and the forests the deserts and the fields of a country are the greatest benefactors of that land they are the most in sentient seemingly doing nothing and yet blessing the entire generation silently and continuously okay let's stop here just for mm-hmm. a minute so now i just want everybody to kind of uh, you guys already know it but maybe just clarify it the sentient and insentient mein kya farak hai the mountain usme wo it does not activities are not there but he's saying that mountains and all those things they are insentient but they are uske bina hamara kaam thodi chal sakta hai vegetation and all that so that worse that he said that he had to act like a insentient thing is for all the reasons but he just saying bringing an angle in mm-hmm. that even insentient things bless us so much and sometimes i've heard that he they say ki hum log ko lagta hai ki hum duniya chala rahe hain lekin hum log nahi chala rahe wo jo saints and sages uh, meditate kar rahe hain na himalay mein mm-hmm. baith ke gufa mein wo chala rahe hain agar wo nahi karenge to hum ek dusre ko maar moor ke electronic kaam mm-hmm. pahunch jayenge you know they are the ones who are kind of sending vibration kahin kisi ke man mein karuna jagana ye karna wo karna you know they are un unke upar responsibility zyada de rakhi hai aur unse chal raha hai you know i don't know i never thought unke pun se ha 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 paap kat rahe hain right right that that ye duniya somehow ha wo balance mein chal rahi hai pun aur paap ka ha 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 you know so i was seeing this uh, chenmay anand's thing also documentary he also went to tabo one to Um, I did it. Yeah, seven yeah. years he did yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, mm-hmm. in very harsh conditions. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And then I sent. Uh, I don't know. You you saw that uh, Vivekananda. Yeah. How much not, uh, struggle? Not see not fully, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I did not struggle here. You know, stop. But it was <laughs> nice to go. But the, to because the show. documentary kind of talked about his jo- whole journey. That you know how he wanted, you know, the, to for everybody to wake up. and that was his mission and he could do it by going pehle unki baat kisi ne nahi suni jab wo america se wapas aaye ha so wo itna bole kisi maharaja ko bhi nahi diya hoga itna unko welcome mila to those days it was a very big deal to go to us and come back I but mean, isn't that sad like that your own country might not listening to you when you go somewhere and come back i don't know <laughs> <sorry, it hurts. laughs> but that always happens but you get look at anybody huh so many people like that look at any of these people no plus those days it was like 9 months journey so you go by ship it's not like you fly and come back go by ship and he had no money and then he he had yeah. like nobody to talk to i mean 
Oh my God, how yeah. he got so many people to listen to him and all that is but also that, all written, you know. Like yes, yes. I mean, the, the lady just took him to his house, yeah. house and all yeah. that. Oh yes, and gave him a ticket but, to go. Uh, yeah. Ram uh, Krishna Paramahans told him, Did you just go? So Ram Krishna Paramahans was taking his King Yem Shanka Bhai. Because yeah, Ram Krishna okay. Paramahans wanted to do this, that all this, you know, he needs to take up the cause for the, for, you know, Indian and because he was all educated and all that. So, and then I heard that he even, it's mainly the documentary, but I've heard that he was uh, asked uh, to give professorship of Harvard and he refused. They got so impressed with him that they were, they wanted him to become a professor there. And he said, that's not my goal. Mm -hmm. Similarly, who you want to read? Okay. Similarly. Similarly, a master of knowledge, a God man, is exposed not to project himself. Expected. Um, oh, is expected not to project himself and force his values upon the society and bring about violent revolutions or to take part in social and communal or national and international controversies. He not to squander away his sacred energy by taking sides in the vain struggle of the moment and in the passing historical incidents. On the other hand, men of such spiritual dimensions and godly dignity must declare the great truth upon which life is ever based and led, guide and softly insist upon the generation's cultural revolution, evolution and the consequent spiritual progress. So you see how their role is so subtle role. Yeah. Ki bhai, jo bhai jump kar de because his whole thing will get ruined, his purpose. And I think that one of the things that uh, Chinmayananji used to say that <coughs> with, with our teacher told us that, you know, that Suppose if a society is going one way and you know it's wrong, hmm. okay? If you go and tell them, hey, you are wrong, nobody listen to <laughs> Nobody listen to you and your purpose will go. So walk with them for a little distance. Hold hands with them and walk. Or when you're going, you take them and take them and take them. See the analogy? So, so, you know, like even with our kids, we have to say, no, 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 no. So they get all They'll go opposite rebel, direction, yeah. revolt. Kar denge. Mm -hmm. bhai, I understand your uh, so that's what he's talking about. Ha, ke, on the side, but actually you're not. Yeah, and you know that you know that if you have an idea, even in, in a group, and you trying to and everybody is different and you want to put your point, they can squash you in one minute. So you got to be very diplomatic there. Yeah, I mean, Rav, Ravi Shankar has been trying to do for the Babri Masjid thing. No one is listening to him, you know. The saints, they're not. Listening. Yeah, so it, it's a tough job. Mm -hmm. But but if they, and then he's also talking about the higher purpose. That, you know, he, he called it like a passing thing in the history. Sometimes things happen. You can't every time get all emotional and jump in there and mm -hmm. start changing everything and all that because it's the course of nature. You know, it's a tide yeah. which is going and it has to just go. Sometimes you have to just step back and let it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's a very, destiny. very interesting point that you brought in. Mm -hmm. So, should we go to the Sanskrit part? Yeah, the next mm -hmm. right. You. Nistutir nirnamaskaraha Nistutir nirnamaskaraha Nisvadhakara evacha Nishvatakara evacha Chala chala niketascha Chala chala niketascha Yatirya duchiko bhave Yatirya duchiko bhave Do you want to read that? Okay, the English one. Oh, you want to? Oh, you can read. The Sanskrit? So she can read. Yeah, you can read. The Sanskrit. Uh, the Sanskrit. They like to do this words, each word. Would you like to try that? Nisputi, having given up prayers like that. Yeah. Otherwise, we can do it. Yeah. The series is good at it. Okay, we're, okay, we don't have the explanation. 178. Yeah. 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 Word meaning means having given up all prayer. Stuti is actually prayer and Stuti means you're giving up the prayers. 
निर्म नमस्कार हैविंग गिव अप ऑल रिचुअल ओ निर नम संस्कार सत्सकार नमस्कार इट इज अ सिंबॉलिक दैट गिविंग अप ऑल द रिचुअल्स हैविंग गिवन अप ऑल द रिचुअल्स नी स्व धकार एवच एंड आल्सो हैविंग गिवन अप ऑल द राइट्स फॉर मेंस एंड सो ऑन व्हाट इज मेंस आई डोंट नो मे बी यू नो व्हाट व्हाट इज दैट वर्ड मेंस Also okay, we'll I'll look up. That's what I think. Usually, the hair. I think something to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. On the horse. 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 निकेतन जो बोलते हैं ना घर निकेतन बोलते हैं घर घर एक्जेक्टली जो एंड यति ही the man of self restraint in other words renunciate याद इच्छिक whatever comes by chance or depends on circumstances ओ याद इच्छिक इच्छिक इस दस दस वन whatever whatever comes by chance or depends on the circumstance भवेतर should live on so the sage of self restraint should be above all praise and salutation every prescribed rites religious or otherwise he should have the atma as his only support for his body and he must depend upon mere chances for his physical needs so now remember he's talking about the self established in the higher self the person hmm. self realized person uska kya role hai aur kya karna chahiye usko just keep that in mind okay go ahead read I mean, i would say a mere chances of his physical needs that's why you look to bhikshu lete na yes in fact uh, there are stories of हाँ? क्योंकि उनके लिए जो एक्स्ट्रा ये सब है इट्स लाइक अ बर्डन या नहीं अभी आएगा क्यों ही ही एक्सप्लेन इट वेरी वेल कि क्यों बिकॉज ही इज लिविंग इन दिस बॉडी एज अ नॉन मूविंग सेल्फ सो देन देन एंड आल्सो ही इज नॉट ही डजेंट हैव एनी ऑब्लिगेशन टू द सोसाइटी हम लोग के सब ये है कि हमको टैक्स देना है ये करना है वो करना है ही इज नॉट डूइंग ऑल दैट सो ही सेंग देन रिटर्न ही शुड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट कि सोसाइटी शुड गिव एम समथिंग so that's why and that's one uh, angle and the other angle is that we all know that they have a complete faith in the higher self ki mai agar khana bhagwan ko bhejna hai to wo chhappar phad ke bhejega mujhe hum log ke paas nahi hai wo paisa wala aur ha jitne bhi because this group also reads a lot of biographies so we know that uh, you know uh, what you call uh, yogananand ji's story he challenges his brother that Uh, his brother didn't believe in god he's saying okay show me that how you mm. believe in god he said i'm going to take a train without any money mm. and then he went and everybody along the way took care of him he was sitting under a tree and this fellow comes with the food so he said how did you bring food to me meko sapna aaya so i usko khila do you know and then tapovan maharaj uh, he a book had wandering in himalayas i don't know if you have read the book was going to talk about that yeah wandering in himalayas is a, such a tremendous book he wandered in the whole himalayas you know i know how tough himalaya is he never had anything with him and he always and one time he sends us a story that he was like acha bhagwan dikha tu kaise laega yahan par khana mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. right and then and there's some story that he opened some the patthar was there and uh, some ant was in it and you know there was a little grain something saying to agar usko khila sakta hai wahan pe usko bhi khila yeah yeah look at their faith yeah. and then same thing happened one fellow comes with a some robbers. wild potato or something mm-hmm. robbers were Ro- if you you tell the story yeah mr he was all along 3 4 days in the going through nothing to eat and then he says god will give me mm-hmm. and uh, then the that area is infested with robbers so robbers came they thought he must have some money or something so they looked around didn't find anything so they bring him food imagine <laughs> they feel pity on him ke paas kuch bhi nahi hai and uh, miss that tapovan maharaj if you read that his story mm. it tells you how much faith is there in that right if you can get that kind of faith things will happen yes yeah. All you, have, you to have, have to do is ask, but they mm-hmm. have a lot of uh, uh, belief. And, you know, no, but they don't they have to ask. They they the whole universe God. is serving them. So mm-hmm. all the universe is serving, and they have yeah. a complete faith. They get it from the universe. And they, they, they are they, 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 they are fearless also. If they are not afraid, then what will happen? Okay. And if anyone has a need, at least everyone has a need. 
Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, that's what they talk about. Yeah. That in that area, there's so many lions, so many leopards, and all that. Right. Which we, they eat people. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes across. He was never attacked okay. by any of those. I think even the animals, the animals, animals can so get the vibration. Yeah. Yeah. They will not attack yeah. anybody. Yeah, exactly. Like the animal gets a vibration of oneness. Unke, unka keen sense will oh, like right, them right. and they completely leave them alone. Are, or, another thing I wanted to tell you, this was so fascinating. This one uh, Swami, I think he lives in Santa Barbara. And he, he goes to Himalayas every few years to do his tapasya and all that. So sometimes in small group they reveal certain things. So he said, oh, how do you live there with the snow is there? So he's saying that with the yogic thing, you know, they create heat in their body. Yeah. And those kind of You things. can do pranayam. Yeah, pranayam. In fact, they bathe like that too. They, they have a way that the, the sweat says of clean. So he said that they know how to reduce the appetite and also the cold. Right. All the so that one is there. Then he said that they have to do a No, after the, there are certain pranayam, sitali and all that. That if it's warm, you can warm your body. Right, right, right. And in the cold, you can warm your body. So this is what happens from the control from inside. But what happens from the universe? So he said that they have a katora, that they leave it there and they are in meditation. And no one gives milk to them. Right? But the universe knows. In our Vedanta, you don't come across those stories. No, no, they are, no, they are not, you're right, you're right. stories are different. Here they don't believe in all that. They are saying, you got to have your trust, that's about it. There's the no only thing I'm sharing, these kind of things, that these people have actually revealed what mm happens. -hmm. Yeah. And right. to me that is fascinating. We look like, oh, people will die of hunger. Mm -hmm. They don't because like the universe is, like you said, is helping them. And then he said, sometimes they are in so much in meditation that it freezes. Because it's freezer, and then, but that's why it stays there fresh yeah. for a days. Yeah. So when see how it is, we never thought about it that way. That frozen milk is available to him after three, four days when he comes out of his meditation. Who would have thought? But those things happen. Mm. So, so if you are at I mean, that this state, is unbelievable that a goat would, you know, no, because uh, the whole the person who's ruling the, I mean, that energy, energy is, is helping is doing yes. everything. Yes. I mean. If you just think of it, you are living miracles every minute. Yes. Yeah, but beyond the miracles, I liked what you just said. And her name Sushil. Sushil and Meena. Your name Meera. Yeah, what you just said that um, beyond the stories, you know, it's the fundamental philosophy in the Vedanta that you were talking about, where what, what did you just say before the discussion? No, that in Vedanta, pure Vedanta, they don't like that. The yeah. stories about yeah. that Bakri came and gave the milk and all that. That's, again, those are stories where I look at is to explain things. Yeah, okay. Whether you believe in that or not, I, is whatever I read in this our Vedantic or whatever teachings, I haven't seen that type of stories. Our, uh, um, both uh, Chinmananda and his Tapavan Maharaj, they were just the believers. They said, yeah, if you do mir miracle, what's a big deal? There comes up that somebody at, what do you call that? They, they right, uh, levit levitate them. Mm -hmm. Levitate them. Levitate, yeah. He yeah. says, what? What's a big deal? Birds fly. So if, if you can levitate <laughs> yourself for five, six inches. Yeah, I see your context. And the only reason I was bringing that up, because he says that the person should live like this. So our at our level, and we, we think that we can't live without it. Correct. Yeah. 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 No, I think yeah. these stories yeah. are important because maybe that had happened to them, but they thought it was not necessary to tell them. They masses. don't tell in masses. Yeah. That's why I said so they were very small because small small. there were four or five people yeah. were sitting. Yeah. 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 And he, he, he won't say in a lecture yeah. because yeah. people get too fascinated. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. 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 What but the only reason I'm bringing to this group that I heard him say, and I have a complete faith in him that he was not making it up. He was just telling how... Because people God get takes care, yeah. No, but it I is. have seen Uma mm -hmm. in my, with my own eyes, I've seen, I used to go to this, uh, uh, Bombay, uh, Bhagwan was very popular. She was a Sindhi lady 
and very very popular all the lot lot of industrious uh, people and lot of people from every uh, walks of life and different naam unka unko bhagwan bolte the dada lakshmi bolte the acha acha wo sign mein rehte the acha to wo bhagwan jo the na unke wahan it was a